this is an interesting way of looking at the Talmud and different phrases that come in the Talmud from time to time. Today we had an expression in the daily daf, which was Bava Metzia 83. It was a story that we actually had um, about a month ago in the daf. Um, that, um, the expression is, Kesuda Shlomo Bishato. Kesuda Shlomo Bishato. Um, like the like a banquet, like a feast of Solomon in his time. And the story is that uh, Rabbi Yochanan ben Matia said, uh, told his son to hire workers, and his son hired workers, um, just telling them that he'd give them some food, and uh, not saying what it was. Um, uh, he, he hired, he, he said he'd provide food for them. As part of their employment, but he didn't specify what kind of food. So his father said to him, so Yochanan ben Matthias said to him, even if you were to prepare a feast like that of Solomon in his time, you would have not fulfilled your obligation because they're descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, etc. So you have to tell them what you're going to give them because if you just say whatever, then you have to give them the best, you know, even the best is not enough or, or whatever they can demand. or I don't know what he was trying to say by that. But basically, you have to tell them. And then, you know, you have to tell them, um, you know, we're going to provide you bread and beans. That was the typical custom. Um, and so just this story came up about a month ago. It was on the daf of the day of... Um, of the 9th of Nisan, which was Wednesday, um, April 17th. Um, and uh, so it came on, on Daf 83 and Daf 49, but then this expression so far, I have seen it in, come in other times. It came on. It came also in Tanis 29b, but it wasn't with the story. It was just saying that... Um, that you can eat, as an expression, like Solomon in his feast. It also came up in Erevin 41a, without the story. So you have two cases in Shah so far, that I can vouch for, that happened with the story, and you have two cases without the story. And something, just it's just an intuition, some kind of an idea, like a... Like a instinct, some kind of a flash of inspiration, that there's some kind of pattern to these things. This is not the only thing. This happens quite a bit where there's certain stories in the Talmud that they come up at certain times and then, or expressions, they come up, but it's said by a different Amora or Tana, attributed to a different person, or you have this this type of um, trivia. I think there's there are secrets that that can be revealed and I'm searching for this on a daily basis. So, what would what would you gain by knowing when when they show up? Maybe there's a there's a pattern, there's a code here. Um, how would you even continue? How would you even go about deciphering this complicated idea? So, the, I think the first the first way to, to, to approach it is through gematria. Very simple. Kisuda Shlomo Bishato has numerical value of 1713. Then you would see, you know, what does 1713 have to do with? I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like, that's where I'm at right now. But, um, to be continued.